Welcome to the uh, February 5th, 2018 community meeting. Big day, big day. V10 release today. Big day, big day. Uh, we got a couple of cool topics we're going to talk about. Uh, number one being the uh, V10 release, how that affect ops. Number two being mod support and how we're working with that. Uh, we're announcing a new event as well this Friday. Very, very exciting to announce a brand new event. Um, and then uh, we'll go through and answer any questions. Uh, and then we'll also talk about the SOTT rescheduling. So we'll start with the SOTT rescheduling because it's going to take up, I think, a, a good majority of time with questions and so on and so forth. So um, as you may have noticed, we've taken on at least 20-plus uh, trainees here at uh, Squad Ops, um, ranging anywhere from SOTT, content creation, and admin, and so on and so forth. Uh, we've been uh, essentially just increasing our trainee numbers to accommodate for the growth that we've had in the past few months here and it's been quite an insane amount of growth right now um but yeah so as you may notice we've rescheduled a lot of sotts this month uh, we've deviated from our standard routine sott schedule in order to accommodate for these trainees and to accelerate their training process uh, we're trying to get these trainees through all the way to staff so they can begin teaching and we can resume our normal uh Canceled it for this month, uh, as well as a lot of the basics for this month were canceled, uh, simply to, so that we can get our instructors up to speed and staff as fast as possible. The faster we do that, the faster we can start doing more impromptus or, um, you know, get back to our schedule and have more trainees in circulation. So, please stand by for that. We understand this inconveniences a couple of people, but just bear with us for this month. We got to get these guys through their training process so that they can start teaching. Once these staff members uh, get their staff tags, we'll be able to accommodate a lot uh, more people. Does anyone have any questions about that? Uh, if you do, please use the community meeting text channel. That's where all communication from your side will go. So once again, any communication that you want to talk about, it's in the community meeting channel and the discussion text channel. I just want to note that this month is okay. It's going to be affecting next month. Excuse me, next month, yes. Give it a sec to answer any questions. Are the listed SOTTs? Yeah, everything on the website is going to be accurate right now. Everything we've already done all the changes for next month and, and all future events. So everything that you see right now on the calendar is accurate. Uh, how many current staff members do you guys have enrolled? We can take a look at that real fast. <laughs> um, staff, we have 43 staff members, trainees. We have 17 tra trainees on right now, uh, with a couple coming in the next few days. Um, yeah, sorry, my monitor wasn't, wasn't plugged in. Can you repeat? You're, you're such a troll. Um, <laughs> how do I download the squad ops mod and was it Duke? Can I get a link for Duke? Why is squad such a good game? Is FTL training affected? Yes. We canceled FTL for this month. All right. So, um, the squad ops mod is the mod we will, we, we can talk about that right now. So the squad ops mod is the new mod that we are going to have required for every event now. And what it does is uh, we try to, we have custom vehicles in there. We have custom UI elements in there. Uh, we have custom assets in there. It's just a package to make the operations run more efficiently. All the operations are set up as well as more immersive, removing certain factors from your HUD that are unnecessary. And um, yeah, trying to make a more hardcore tactical immersive experience for our players. So that will become mandatory this Saturday. This Saturday. So download the mod. You can have it downloaded and it won't activate unless you join a server that requires it. So it's completely safe to have it downloaded. Um, but this Saturday will be the first official squad ops day that we have both of our events running on the mod. If you do not have the mod installed, you will not be able to play this op. So make sure that you have this operation mod installed. The links are right there in the... Uh, community meeting um yeah this wednesday is an open operation so we're not having we're not running it on the mod we're just doing vanilla this wednesday but this saturday yes we are doing uh we are doing the the mod um the next thing i want to talk about is v10 features the ngs and all that cool stuff we're gonna start going back into all of our old ops reworking our documents and adding all the new assets into the operation so don't worry you're going to see all the uh operations revamped and updated uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, is um, 
the Friday Firefights, which is a brand new event that we are testing starting this Friday. So uh, XBIT or whoever, I, I, I can't remember if it's Barton or whoever. Yeah, Barton's going to be throwing up registration for that this Friday. This Friday, session two time, we are having Squad Ops Friday Firefights. What is Friday Firefights? Well, essentially, it's just a mini operation. It's a 19v19 or a 20v20 operation, one life operation. We're going to be taking one of our standard 40v40 operations and downscaling it for 20v20. So, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of requests for another operation day and uh, as well as requests for smaller operations. Um, and this is to accommodate both our growing staff size so that we don't overwhelm our staff. We're running a half-sized operation. Uh, we're also, you know, laying those people who want to try the smaller operations. That's happening. And then we're adding another operation day, which is Friday. So hopefully this is great for everyone. We understand that registration is going to be tight because it is a 40-man operation, uh, like total. So you know, get in there, get in there fast. If this goes well, this first Friday, we're going to be running it every Friday. So uh, we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, we'll, you know, see what we can do to make it work. But Friday firefights starting this Friday, the, uh, was it the ninth? It's yeah, up. This Friday, the ninth. It's up. Register. Go, go, go. Um, yeah. Uh, and then uh, you're going to need the mod for this Friday. So, excuse me. This Friday, if you're participating in firefights, you will need the mod. Okay? So, excuse me. If you are participating in this Friday's mini event, you will need the mod. Um... That wraps up that. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, the admins. Okay. So I understand we have a lot new people here. So we're just going to go over because the admin team's uh, getting a little overwhelmed, especially with the fact that we now have two whitelist servers up. We have the whitelist uh, squadops.gg whitelist one, and we have the squadops.gg invasion 24 7 servers. So we now have two licensed servers up for your enjoyment as a community we have the invasion 24 7 and the whitelist one so those are always up if you ever need someone to pop go ahead and ask uh ask a staff member in in, in general chat uh but yeah once again we only send out those seating announcements if there's a staff member that can be present to overwatch the seating process right because we don't want the seating process to be ridiculous because it's happened before uh as far as calling an admin especially with the huge, huge influx of new players. There's going to be a lot of admin calls. This is how you properly address an admin. I'm going to link it right now. It's also in the readme. But that is how you properly address an admin. So an example, once again, this is in the readme, is this, okay? So please follow this format. It allows the admins to do their job efficiently, effectively, and consistently. And, uh, you know, that's all the information the admin needs to take care of your problem without any more information, right? That's everything. Um, any chance we can run Squad Ops Firefights again, the Ray versus plus PvP thing we ran? As of right now, that's been put on hold and reworked into this uh, mini-op thing. So the 24-7 invasion is whitelisted. Is it whitelisted? Actually, I might uh, I misspoke there. Barton? Nope. No. Can we whitelist that? Yes. Okay, so it will be whitelisted next chance you see it. Uh, Jive. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. Jack, not in voice chat, but is there a possibility for ops with an earlier start time to be friendly to European Far East? As of right now, the only early session we offer is on Saturdays. Uh, if we end up picking up a lot more EU staff, we can look at having wednesday early operations but that's only if we have the sufficient amount of staff uh, right now our staff is uh spread pretty thin among the multiple varying events that we host so i don't know we'll see how we do with all these new trainees if we pick up some more event admins and stuff like that but as of right now until we get the staffing the only new event you're going to be seeing is the friday firefights uh if you're eu we do hold that one event on saturdays um any word on the collabs with youtube personalities or communities um diplex pops in every now and then i think that's what you're asking um ribo senpai as i'm fairly new to squad ops i am curious 
as to how one registers for a squad ops day. Is it the same as registering to get whitelist? So to join squad ops, we host, you know, public servers and events for the public server. All you need to do to get whitelisted is register and create an account on the, on the uh, webpage to actually join an event. We require you to have the basic course completed, which is hosted every now and then you can check the calendar, but in order to join a squad ops, one life, one life event, you need to have the basic course completed. Um, which once again, you can register for on the website. The only exception to this is the first Wednesday of every month is an open operation, which means it's open to literally everybody, even if you don't have the basic tech. This day is to accommodate people who you know are interested in squad ops, don't really you know have the time really to commit yet to doing basic, but want to try to get their feet wet and see if it's something they want to commit to. And then they can take basic at a later date and follow up with all the other registrations for the other events. Um, basic is the only required course, but to take fire team leading, you need to have all the other courses as well as squad leader. Yeah. So for squad leader, you need fire team leading, basic AWS and vehicles, uh, which staff teams need the most people right now. I would say, uh, community. We just finished putting on like 16 plus SOT trainees like three content creation trainees. Um, Barton, we're good on web dev. Good on web dev. Uh, mod dev, though. Yes, mod dev. If you're interested. Mod dev. Yeah, if you're interested in blueprinting, C++, um, modeling, sound Especially design, if sound engineering. C++. Yeah, yeah, C++. Man. If you have any experience in any of this or modding, please put in an application or get in touch with Hamlet or myself. We are looking for people for our mod dev team. Um, yeah. So if you, uh, the application's in the readme, I'll post it down here. Just ask the dev team what they need. Just just talk to them. Yeah. Hamley, Ops, Ham, Ops Hamley leads the uh, mod dev team. So any kind of mod dev questions you have would go towards him. How about some ops merch? We're looking at opening a, a second round, or not a second, but another round of ops merch coming soon, TM. Um, Damn it, you're saying that yeah. too now. Once again, uh, yeah. Squad Ops is absolutely free right now. Most, uh, no, all donations right now go towards keeping the servers alive. Uh, age requirement for staff, 18 plus maturity level. And we're really strict on that. Um, yeah. All right. At this point, we're going to go open forum in, in the chat. If you have any questions relating to anything that we talked about or anything squad or squad ups related, I will address those now. Answer this, dude. He's been asking this three times already. Which, where, 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 where did Adrian, I... play here, this one. Oh, Will the squad ops mod affect combat mechanics such as bullet damage, health, travel times, etc.? No. So we're not tweaking bullet damage. Okay, so this is a very complex answer, actually. So the squad ops mod, do we have a full feature list, like a professional feature li list, Pony? Um, no, because I'm going to have to redo the whole thing after this. this <laughs> okay. It's well, we'll, also there, this, but... The second we can, but we're going to have it. There, there is actually an answer to that question. The only tweak to, to bullet damage is that if you get hit in the head with something, you die. Yeah. That's, um, that's, not, not like in game where you can take a 9 mil to the face and keep on trucking. You die. But yeah. Um, was that, what was I going to say? We, we've tweaked the high explosive anti tank shells as well. Uh, we've tweaked a couple other things as well. We, we, once we get a full feature list, we'll, we'll put that out. Pony, is there a possibility we can get that out by Friday? Uh, yeah. Once I finish this tonight, I can probably okay, cool. put it together. I'll just Sweet. try and put it in the patch notes for, for the patch that I released today. Fantastic. Uh, if I recall recently, you did a video on the Hilo mod. You plan to do something similar for squad ops? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a more professional overview of the uh, mod itself. That's going to be done by our content creation team um, in the near future. Are you guys considering hosting more double night op nights? It's f it's very hard to get into one life events and SOT completion work doesn't schedule me. Um, 
double op nights you mean like session one session two like i said before the only possibility of us doing that is if we have enough eu staff to staff those events i think he's talking about like two during session one and two during session oh two. two during session two that requires a lot of staff and right now we're not prepared to to host two events at the same time that requires a lot logistically how does someone join squad ops you just uh you just be around or put uh, an application yeah I don't see a download going. Restart your Steam. <laughs> you did it. Um, Luke's been having problems. <laughs> is the new mandatory mod going to be rolled out onto the whitelist servers or just the op events? Just the op events and eventually on our hardcore server, which is a not a one life server, but it's, a, it's just a hardcore squad server, which will be in the custom server tab. That's coming eventually. That'll come after we get the op mod all set up and good to go. What is needed to join the firefight? It cannot seem to register it. You need to have basic. Uh, you have the basic tag here, so try relinking your account on the website. Hold on, I'll, I'll tag them up. Okay, cool. Um, can we have a basic training now for those of us that want to get our game on? Uh, you'd have to grab 15 people um, and then message a SOT instructor. And at that point, it's if they're available, they can run an impromptu basic. For community, you need to be a reg, correct? Yes, currently. When will the helicopters come into squad ops operations? The second they drop in vanilla and after we get qualified pilots. What days do you do basic? Uh, there, check the calendar. I think the next one's on the 15th. Awesome. One more question about the mod. I plan to add more armies, more factions. Yeah. Yeah, we do. If possible, that would be good. That'd be ideal if possible. What kind of people does content creation need? I think we need graphic artists. So, uh, Shadow, what do you need? Uh, I'm looking... Yeah, graphic artists would be the, the most pressing thing. But I'm looking pretty okay for right now. I, I, at most, I bring on one, one more person. So in, um, if you, you have experience with like, graphic design and stuff like that, hit me up. Or, or some an application, that'd be better. Or do both. Sounds good. Um... Is my style good enough for you? How involved with the squad dev team are y'all? We don't have any influence. We don't really discuss game changes with OWI. OWI kind of just does their thing and we do our thing um, with some collaboration in some places, but not really. Um, our personnel minds coming? Uh, yeah, we're, we're working on Aper's minds. Bounding minds. <laughs> bounding minds. Yeah, bouncing Betty's dude. Um please. Is Squad Ops working with the postscriptum? <laughs> there? We'll see what happens with postscriptum. I don't know. It's looking interesting. It's looking interesting. Not gonna We're not it's working it. with postscriptum. No, we're not working saying. with his postscriptum. But That's what he's asking. I'm sorry. We're not working with Postscriptum, but it's, it's a very interesting game. Um, we'll, we'll probably let this go for another six minutes if anyone has any questions. Once again, this is your time to bring up any suggestions, comments, concerns that you have with the Squabs community and uh, where we can interface with you. The biggest thing about Postscriptum is you'll have to buy that game in order to play in those events. Yeah. It is going to be a totally different game. It's not. It's something you have to rebuy or have to buy. Uh, Stalker, um, there's a possibility that your uh, real life experience can work in squad ops. Uh, you'd still have to go through the squad ops trainee process. Correct, um, so, Delphi. Yeah, that's still a process you'd have to go through. So if you're interested in that, talk to Pugachev. Or uh, Berkeley. Is there some way, we, um, Barton? You see Rockolo's question. Uh, can you read it to me? Is there some way we can help with the Discord bot, or that we can see the source code? No. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I recently registered for SOT the 15th, and I'm not sure if my squad ops account correctly linked to my Discord. Will that cause any issues? Hyper, can you help them? The only issue that's going to cause is that when they apply basic to you, it won't go to the website. However, uh, as long as you linked your Discord account, you should be fine on the website. It's going to stay on there saying, like, link Discord. So that'll always stay on there. All you have to do is just click it once, follow the, the directions to the next web browser page that'll open up, and then you'll be good to go. Any thoughts on balancing now that ARs are incredibly lethal at long range? Yeah, we're looking into it. Are mods coming in? Are, are mods coming in upcoming ops? Only the official squad ops mod currently. Any? Are you planning any slower paced ops? Perhaps one round only stretched over the full two hours with multiple objectives. We consider those campaigns. Um, that's, that that would fall more in line with our campaigns, which uh, Xbit with stats on that. Uh, I have lots of them. Just need to find the time. To yeah, run. we're just looking for a time to run the uh, campaigns. Those are long, long operations. New question: How do I find the squad op server? Is it listed, or do I need to type in the address? Uh, it should be on the public server browser. You just sort sort by name. Any need for 3D models made for mods? Yeah, the D. Go ahead and check in with uh, Hamlet or uh, Best Pony here. Did you answer that server question? Hey, Alfie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I How about out. 20? Yeah, I did. How about a 24 hours squad ops event? <laughs> You're insane. Jesus. What are the steps you would take to help? run the events um just stepping up being in like answering uh or not answering but uh just just trying to help out where you can i mean i don't know i don't know how to answer that question just be uh That's... polite be professional um i guess just don't cause issues here's, uh, so here's the big you... thing i can i can answer this real quick here's a big thing during like when we're all getting together inside the uh, pre-op channel and all that stuff don't be like hooting and hollering freaking mic spamming all that type of shit when uh, people at, or when event admins come in to uh, do the event roll call, just just be quiet. Let them do their thing. Uh, when you're inside the game server and you get put into the game, and you're waiting for like the squad leaders and all that stuff, don't be like making a bunch of noise and stuff. I mean, it's fine to talk to each other and horse around a little bit and all that. That's fine. But don't be like making so much noise that it's hard for the SLs and them to make a talk to each other. And then obviously when they're doing their uh, uh, briefing to you guys, just pay attention. Don't act like a jackass and. Be like, and that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it to help it run a little more smoother. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just don't be a problem. That's it. Does anyone else have any questions? How about a realistic invasion out that takes weeks at a time? I think your best bet is to play the invasion server <laughs> right now. Noob question, will the maximum number of people playing going to increase in the future? Only if squad increases as well. Is it possible to increase player caps on ops versus uh, via mod, mod ability? At this point, no. We're locked at whatever squad has. When squad, you, a small unit leadership rolls out, will certified people be able to register on the website? Will they be allowed to sign up on a sheet to fill up slots that have not yet been taken by staff? Sphinx, uh, I'm not sure. Hyper, do you I know? know what? It's funny, I know what he's talking about. Um, as of right now, no. Uh, due to the fact that, well, the reason why is because we can't just have like nothing but regular SLs or regular all stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's we're going to be working into that. We're looking into hack how we're going to roll into that to let you guys be able to, to let regulars be able to sign up as SLs, uh, and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about using a damn doc. But uh, yeah, we're we're looking into it, trying to figure something out, some good situ uh, system to uh, help you guys out. I know it's not an answer, but just know that we are looking into it and trying to f uh, figure it out. Yep. Is squad ops looking at doing a community meetup at a range so members can hang out and shoot off some weapons? And uh, as of right <laughs> now, nothing to the public. Nope. Yeah. 
Will Squad Ops expand into PS? Per, uh, we don't know yet. Can't confirm nor deny. Do I have to change my Discord name to Ops or is this everything that can be changed? Uh, the Ops tag is only for regulars and above. Will Squad Ops go into Hell at Loose when it releases? We don't know yet. Is the mod dev team working on adding maps at all? Yes, they are actually. What is a regular? A regular, if you, uh, to know this, you can look inside the readme channel, scroll all the way to the bottom, and uh, it'll give what each uh, team member is and our regulars. Um, what this does is a regular is someone who is here in our Discord, plays in our server events, plays in the servers, um, forums, whenever they come around, Barton. Um, <laughs> Wait, we're still doing this? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, people want forums. Uh, oh. and stuff like that. Um, d uh, once, you, once you be recognized and all that stuff, you know, we'll, staff and other regulars will see you, and uh, a staff member will come and approach you and go from there to be added as a regular. Just note that it's not going to happen right away. You know, like, oh, I've been here for a week. I should have No, it's not going to be like that. You know, it, it could take some time. Sweet. Um, I'll read some metrics and then answer any final questions. Uh, as of right now, we currently have 7,183 members on the Discord, which is absolutely insane. We've, uh, we've passed 1,953 people through basic. We've passed 665 people through advanced weapon systems, 389 people through vehicle, and uh, only... 63 i guess that's a good amount 63 members through fire team um leading and about can we, 17 can we get a round of applause uh, for that squad leading so yeah we trained a brigade we've trained quite a few people so yeah and they all passed yeah and they, yeah, they all passed <laughs> Uh, will squad ops get other kinds of events other than one life events? As of right now, we're experimenting, but nothing concrete yet. <laughs> What's different about squad ops invasion and regular invasion? Nothing. You might be seeing our layer for a mod, maybe. Has squad ops ever thought about doing a large operation that will reward? participants with a real life challenge coin no but we're trying to bring badges back so you got that did you answer that it's, i feel like you answered that it's forums yeah badges are for Pardon. sure coming how often are aws and vehicle training done at least once a month tell us about the media tag that's for influencers wait for vehicle and okay actually since he did talk about that, AWS and vehicle. Okay, let me touch on that because that's going to be a big thing next month. Next month, AWS will be offered two weeks in a row. Then it'll be basic. And then there'll be two weeks in a row of vehicle training and then basic. So that's why we're talking about how SOTT needs to get their people up traded and all that stuff. That's what we're talking about, that type of stuff. Um, so do note that next month, basic will be shortchanged a little bit just for the time being. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. It might last to the next month as well. I don't know. We'll see how fast SOTT can get their people up. But do note that's how it's going to operate next month. Any update on Squad Ops merch? Soon. A vindication that usually doesn't work out because people can't make it every single time. What's wrong with you, AK? Regarding Squad Ops, is there a system like the 7 Cav has where a bunch of guys who all share a passion for the game with qualification to make sure that people who can be relied on can only be SLs? Yeah, that's what small unit leadership is. How is Squad Ops funded? Through donations on the website. <laughs> the way you said that. <laughs> I mean, we aren't really funded. I wouldn't say we're funded. <laughs> we're uh, we do this all on our own free in real time. Yeah, you get peanuts. I got a peanut once. 
Fucking karma. Hey, if you show up to the thing, you get peanuts. Karma, I like your bitch. Thanks, dude. Can we have two FTL trainings per month? Maybe. We'll see how the instructors feel. Technically, you kind of will. You technically have three during that week when it comes back. Could it be session one, session two, and then one on Saturday? Next ops cast. Yes! Next ops cast is tomorrow, 9 p.m. Pacific. I almost forgot. Next ops no, cast whoa, tomorrow. Whoa, whoa. Nine, no, not Pacific. 9, no PM, 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 wow. PM Eastern. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. Eastern. Session two session time. Session two time. That's all you gotta session say. Two session time two time on Twitch. On twitch.tv. If you TV don't know what that is, go to the calendar. Click on an event and look at session two time for you. 6 p.m. Pacific. Calendar displays in your... The calendar explain, uh, displays in your uh, time zone. Can we just put that up on the calendar? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, can. Why not? All right, yeah cool. I just didn't know if like this was going to be like a continuing thing or not. I didn't want to throw it up into me like, oh, it's not coming. I'll, like, what I'll the contact fuck? you whenever we have one that's for okay. sure going. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. The ops cast is over V10. I'll throw it up right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tomorrow night, uh, there's going to be a discussion about V10. And it's all of its changes to the game, as well as going over a little bit of the January recap that was also released a couple days ago. Um, the, tomorrow night is going to be live. Uh, it's not going to be recorded. So um, I'll be monitoring a lot of the, the chat that's happening, and we'll be responding to you guys the best we can. Sweet. All right, I'm going to close it off here. Um... But yeah, I want to thank everyone for showing up. Hopefully we answered all your questions. Uh, I'll be around just for a couple of minutes after to finish up answering any other questions. But I want to thank everyone for showing up. Thank you all uh, for spending the time here to give your feedback and uh, get get the what's going on. Just to recap, the SOTT is going to be a little wonky over the next month. Uh, we have that new event this Friday, session two time. We have the OpsCast tomorrow, session two time. Remember how to report for admins. And uh, make sure you get the mod downloaded before Friday. That's pretty much it. I want to thank everyone again, all the staff, for their time and work. And all the community, because without you guys, this would not be possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you next time.